Hey guys, Josh Tech. I've got TechMate's Amcase Case 4, the HTC One M8. So we'll go ahead and get this all unboxed and take a look at it, get it installed, see what we think. So this comes with a kind of bag setup. Let's go ahead and get it all out of it. So once you get it through that bag, you get one more to go. Then you got a little pamphlet on the inside. Basically, they like to hear from you, so let them know what you think about their product. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can do that. But this is the bumper kind of style case. It's got a bumper on the outside and then kind of like a hard plastic shell on the outside that's somewhat see-through. Most of this is kind of like that TPU material. So I like TPU cases that they're really durable and they last a while. And, you know, it's very minimal and I like that because this is actually a really nice feeling device, but I have to have a case on. I got two kids, I work outside outdoors at times, so I have to have some kind of case and screen protector. Speaking of screen protector, I have a video for that as well, so I'll leave a link in the description that is made by TechMats. The way that I like to install these is to start at the bottom, kind of line up the ports at the bottom, and then come on up to the top and just kind of snap on the edges work your edges so that way it's nice and flush make sure it's you know coming together really nicely that there's no gaps and make sure it's not kind of hanging out somewhere all right so first impression is that it feels really thin the sides here actually promote a little bit of grip so i like that a lot it's not gonna slip out of my hand that's one of the downfalls of the great design of htc 1m8 it's awesome body, I love the build quality, but it's one of the slippiest phones. You almost have to have to have a case on it so that way it doesn't slip out of your hand. So I like how it has the grip here, it feels good. It keeps the thin profile of the phone in itself and the curvature of the back. Go ahead and take a look around the case and we'll start here at the bottom which has the USB and headphone jack connection. And as you come around, it's a full coverage in curve so your corners are protected the edges are covered it's also raised above the screen so if you want to put it face down you're not going to have to worry about your screen getting scratched up on a flat smooth surface so here at the top you have a cutout for your power button and it also leaves room for some of that ir blaster tech to get through so let's go ahead and see how well that feels it's actually really easy to get to not hard at all actually got to turn this on so that was kind of convenient the volume controls are covered up so i always want to test those out because sometimes these things are not that easy to press and that's almost a deal breaker for me the power controls volume controls wherever they are they must be accessible and easy to use and it's actually pretty nice it actually kind of helps press it a bit so it's i like that a lot they did a good job with that design it's just not like a cover, it's actually kind of got indentions that's like a button in itself. So I like that a lot, good design there. Just to kind of finish off the edges, it's a full edge protection. So all the way around, so you're gonna get that black bumper. The back is actually pretty cool to me. It leaves it open so that we can see the HTC design. If you have a carrier logo, you're still gonna see that. Then you got your AM case logo down here, but you got full cutouts for your cameras and your microphones and whatnot. So no kind of interference with that at all. So it's actually a pretty cool looking case. I like it because it kind of helps keep the HDZ design. You got, you know, everything that you can see on the back. You got the bumper protection on the sides. It feels good in the hand. I like the grip. It, overall, it's a nice case. I'll leave a link in the description. It's actually pretty cheap on Amazon. You can get a good price for it. And you're not going to go wrong with it if you just want like a thin TPU style case. But this is actually a nice hard material on the back here. One of the things that I noticed about the top and bottom here is that the edge of the case doesn't completely fold over to the edge of the phone. So as far as looks wise, that kind of devalues it in a little bit. It's not too much of a deal breaker, but I would like to see this edge here completely cover up that area. It just feels like it's not on there all the way, but that's how it kind of goes. Maybe if I keep on working it down or something like that, maybe get used to being folded over, but I would like to see it kind of have more stiffness right here or something like that i like the case it's pretty cool thanks guys for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so you can see more videos like this